Hi everyone, I uh, just want to run you through 66 new cardless system. I've got a very simple uh, prototype um, here just to demonstrate how it's going to work. So I'm just going to pan the camera down for a moment. There we go. Now you can see what I've got is you'll notice six coins of two different types there and you'll notice on the character sheet individual advantages. Um, if you're familiar with the 6066 system you'll recognize these as the cards. So each advantage has a name, details of how it works and a dice value. I'm going to put this up. So when we want to do something in 66 it's all about using potential and this is what these coins represent. Each person has so much potential they can do at any given point and there's two types of potential. Dynamic potential, which is what you're currently thinking about doing, and static potential, which is things like armor and reflexes and things you don't have to consciously think about so much. Now, when you want to do something, you use potential to activate individual advantages. So let's just say I'm chatting to someone trying to get some information. It's not a particularly high pressure situation. So I can just very casually just do what we call a narrative action and just say, well, I'm going to use my diplomacy, my quick wits, my orator, and because I'm talking to a human, my human blood, and add uh, to make my action. So I just add up the dice values, which in this case is 46 plus 2. I want my 46. And if I beat my target, I've succeeded. When I've used my potential, they come back to uh, my bank. The reason they do that is because it's a low pressure situation. I've got all the time to just recollect my thoughts after taking my action and prepare, yeah, prepare myself. Now, combat's different. Combat, you don't have that luxury to sort of rest and recoup and gather your thoughts. So combat is a lot more pressing. Now, in combat, if I wanted to attack someone, I could say blast them with my Gertag's Bolt. It's sort of like a magical missile of elemental energy. So I'm going to use my elemental control with that. And I'm going to use my air um, in there. It's an elemental card. So I'm going to add up the dice values. 3d6 plus 4. Roll them. I hit whatever. However, this time, my potential goes into the spent pile on the other side of the character sheet. That's because in a combat, it's no time to think. It's all about speed and clarity of thought. It goes all the way to the spent pile. I don't have the option of using it again. But every round and during your turn, you do get to recoup some of it. And I have a, what's known as flow, two flow. So I recoup two of these back during my turn, and as it's still my turn, I can potentially take another shot, the three dice, spend those, uh, they go into the spend, spent pile. Now, of course, I've already used my recoup, my flow this round, so I can't get any of these back um, in this turn. And if I get attacked, um, then I'm in trouble because I haven't got any potential to defend myself with. Now, at the start of the next turn, I'll probably immediately recoup my two um, dynamic potential. And so now I sort of might take an action. Maybe I'll just sort of uh, um, use one of them to move, which case I spend it, and so on. They go backwards and forwards. Now, we also have static potential. Now, static car, static advantages... Um, say static on them, you probably can't see it on these cards and only cards which say static on them can use static potential and you can't use them with dynamic potential. Now you can mix the two together so I've got here a snapshot advantage so if I combine it with my snapshot and I could combine my elemental control, my air and my Gertax bolt I now have got a four dice plus four attack but and I roll that and do it, and I spend the cards as normal. Spend, sorry, spend the potential as normal. However, whereas I can recoup my um, dynamic potential 
every round. I cannot get my static potential back. Once it's been spent, it's not easy to get back. The only way in the middle of a combat situation can you get um, the um, static potential back is by uh, doing nothing for a round. Which do nothing for a round, you um, literally do nothing, you take no actions, and then you get one extra flow back and you allow to use, allow to recover static potential um, with that. So normally get two flow back, if I'm doing nothing I get three, which would allow me to bring both of these back. And that is the game system in a nutshell. It's all about using potential, mixing your different advantages as a way to achieve your ends, and balancing when and how you use the different types of potential and recover them. So, I'm going to go before my neighbour's chainsaw and completely uh, blots out this uh, little video, so look out for more videos as we develop the game.